Hello again, uh, my name's Joey Miles and uh, I'm still here with Stu uh, and we're going to have a little look at um, uh, Karen Devasana um, and, you know, feel a bit like, you know, making sure I've said my mantras correctly and done all my pujas and so on because this is, you know, highly difficult and it works some days and doesn't work others. So I'm going to talk about a couple of little things that we have to get um, solid when we're approaching Karen Devasana, okay? Um, it took me, personally, just as, a, 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 as an aside, it took me 10 years to be able to cleanly lift up. And even like I'm making sort of hokey excuses right now, it's like you just don't know if it's going to work. The first thing we obviously have to get is Pinchamayarasana. So I'll just kick up and briefly show you that pose. Pinchamayarasana is actually a fairly straightforward posture, but there are ways to work on it, so we'll explore some of that. So... The uh, elbows are shoulder distance apart, we can measure it in this simple way, like we often instruct beginners to, to measure the distance of the elbows for um, Shirshasana. Okay? From here, the most important thing is to try to maintain a right angle. So here the deltoid often will tend to fall forward, okay? uh, so we need to maintain that. Uh, again, this is similar prep work like we do for Shirshasana for students. Often I'll work people here, ask people to go forward on the exhale, wait on the inhale, exhale to go back. As we go back, we're trying to now get the hips up and just walk in. That's enough of the preparation in the beginning and often by this far, if you're not ready for it, it'll be quite obvious because of the uh, tension in the triceps or tension around the, um, uh, these muscles around the shoulder blade. If that's the case, or even if it's not the case, everyone gets an awful lot of benefit by um, uh, working just simple uh, gomukhasana in the arms. Okay. So in this position, the classic thing that we do, which is a sort of way to go around the stretch, is the elbow goes too wide. For some people, I almost don't want to do it, but the elbow crosses around the back of the head. Or the other thing which I'm probably doing right now is the ribs start to flare forward. If you watch me on this left side, and so I'm touching the ribs here so that I can kind of anchor that point down. As I take this arm up, this happens to be my stiffer side, it's quite difficult for me to not start to flare the ribs there. So if I exhale... I can draw the ribs down slightly. If I do this pose for a couple of minutes beforehand, it, um, it always gives me a lot of benefit before either Shirshasana headstand or now for pincher. So let's bear that in mind, okay? We'll kick up, we'll take pincher again. So I'm looking forward between the thumbs and the finger. I just raise up. I rotate the thigh bones in, okay? I try and lift the buttocks up. So it's no good doing the pose and then just letting the buttocks fall. You see here, I'm just letting the, uh, the buttocks drop onto the lumbar. I've actually got to lift. So I'm energizing the leg very strong. The exit, like that, is a little bit weird. Don't worry about the exit for now. The exit really doesn't add anything when it comes to the Karandavasana. But one thing I will say about the exit is it's not as weird as it looks. One of the things that happens when we learn to juggle, it was we become aware of when to throw the ball, if that makes sense. If I just demonstrate with these two pillows, I'm gonna throw the second ball, it's a bit of a weird demonstration, but when this gets to the top, that's the moment you throw the second ball. Does that make sense? So it's like here, it'll be nap, boom. Does that make sense? So it's like, it's like I can almost kind of go, whoop, flip. Does that make sense? So if I'm juggling two, it's like you always wait till it's at the top moment to throw the next one. The same thing's actually happening in Karandavasana, or sorry, Pincha. If that's Pincha Mayarasana right now, and it starts to fall over, there's a moment which will be halfway, where actually there's no weight there. Does that make sense? So a lot of people put all sorts of strange effort into it, but actually there's a moment when it's falling there, where that actually lifts. It, it's, it's very easy to see if you look at it with a broomstick. So that would be the moment now, I move the hands. So actually, when I'm in pincher, I was there. As I fall back, there's a moment this doesn't even move, the hand slides back. It's just knowing the moment, okay? Then when you land, you have to be rigid. Okay, so the, the, the chatwari, when you land, you have to be gripped here, okay? So that's the main thing to talk about the exit there. Now, I'll play around a bit with the current of asana. When you see me go up, I'm going to scissor the legs, okay? When I scissor the legs, because I'm taking my right foot into Padmasana first, I'll be hanging the left leg way over. So I'm not too concerned about um, getting the lift of the tailbone or the buttocks as I'm, as I'm getting the leg in. So I'm going to be hanging the left leg over. 
I'll slide the right foot down the thigh. Or in my case, because the hips are very open, it'll just almost fall into place. Then this is the important motion. Okay, so I've essentially got a foot a bit like here, the knee there. As this foot comes across, I have to take the knee way back. So you'll see that action. I'll, I'll exaggerate it when you see me going in. And then I'll tighten the lotus. The knees will come closer together and I'll stretch up. Okay? When I'm doing that, you'll see my lumbar spine is in extension. It's in a bit of a back arch the whole time I'm doing that movement of legs over and into lotus. As I go halfway down, it's still extended. My spine is still like this. Then, and this is the bit people struggle with, you have to move the lumbar spine from here into this shape here. You have to curl in, strongest flexion you can get, so that the knee and the shin bone comes really high up here. Okay? If the knee starts to go down there, it's generally an indication that you're not getting that flexion in the lumbar. So that's the tricky bit that most people aren't quite aware of. Okay? I'm just going to slip off the vest so you can see the spine working. Hopefully you'll get a bit of a side angle there. So you'll see. So moving the right knee way back now so that the left foot falls in. Spine still extending. Even now, halfway down, start, spine is still extending. From here, I have to start rounding. So, it wasn't a clean lift. But on the way down, it, it demonstrated, hopefully, I don't know if you can see it from the side, demonstrated that you, from here, I'm playing. It's not at all dissimilar for those of you that do the Shirshasana um, half bend. So if you watch me doing, this is from the side, yeah? So if you watch me doing Shirshasana, when I'm doing the half bend in Shirshasana, what's actually happening is, is my pelvis is going behind me, I counterbalance. So here, I'm exploiting the, um, the mobility in my lower back ultimately in order to get that action here. Does that make sense? And I'm doing that massively in the Karandavasana. I'm saving my strength by arching down halfway and then curling in. When I've gone all the way down, or as I go lower, I have to take my face very far forward. This drops forward and I'm here. And the bit you could see me struggling with then is having got the initial lift, how do you then get this to go back up? And then, as you go up, what tends to happen is it's very difficult to control this to get back to the balance, which is what we work on ultimately in the, in the pinch of my rasa in the beginning. Let's try it one more time from the side, we'll see what happens. So I won't explain this time, I'll save my breath. It. Yeah, I don't know what else to add. <laughs> Hopefully just seeing it will help though. Definitely in my own journey of learning sometimes just seeing a little detail is definitely how I've started to process it a bit like this. So good luck.